Hey everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to download 1 minute NSE uh, intraday data for the last 10 years using Zerodha API via OpenAlgo is what we are going to learn in this specific session. So let me first go to Kite developer portal, so Kite Connect developer portal. Let me go and log in and then I will go and enter my credentials and I will sign up for the API. In my case I already signed up. So ensure that you are having both trading API and also the historical API as well. So both are very much required. Set up the redirect URL and uh, create the app name and once the app name is created, uh, get the API key and also the API secret as well. So I'm going to bring into my open algo. So in my VS code, I'm going to set my uh, from the dot sample env file. I'm going to create an env file. It's a backup copy of that. And uh, from there, I'm going to set my API key. API secret and then I'm also gonna enter my redirect URL the same redirect URL whatever I had entered there it's the same URL I'm gonna give it over here as well with the zero the as a name here so once that is done we're gonna kick start with the application over here so let's go and start the application so I'll go to 127.0.0.1 colon 5000 that's where the open algo is running so let me go and log into the application so let me enter my uh, open algo credentials maybe if you're a first time user you may have to set up your account in my case i'm going to go and log into the zero the account enter my zero the login id and password it's going to ask for my mobile app code so which i'm going to get it from my zero the mobile application so let me go and get that Now once it is entered automatically, it will be logging into my trading account. Right, so once you entered into the trading account, now you can very easily, you can go and download the uh, one minute uh, uh, historical data. So first let me go to the API key section, copy the API key of OpenAlgo. This API key is from OpenAlgo API key, which we are going to use it in our uh, strategy section. If you go there, there is a data section is there. So from here, you just replace the API key here with the OpenAlgo API key. And here the data symbol, whatever symbol that we're going to get over here is nothing but the State Bank of India data exchanges from NSE. Interval is just change this to one minute, one M. And uh, end date, give it like today's end date. So like 25.01 is January and 17th. And start date, I'm going to give like some 10 years back so I'll go and give like 2015 02 and 02 that's what I'm gonna start with so almost this goes back to like uh, almost 10 years of uh, intraday data so we're gonna download so let me run this uh, Jupyter notebook so first time if you want you have to connect your kernel just connect the kernel as well uh, in my case I connected with a virtual environment so let me select the kernel as VNV in your case, you have to select the appropriate kernel. So once this kernel is selected, just go and run this. So this should be start downloading the data. You can see that the data download is happening in the back end from Zerodha. So directly you're getting the data from the Zerodha API itself, right? So maximum you can download up to like 10 years of data you can download in one shot. So just a simple three-liner code where if you're using OpenAlgo, you are connecting to OpenAlgo via OpenAlgo. You are asking the query. So the query is getting processed in the back end. Uh, and then uh, OpenAlgo sends the request to Zerodha and then retrieve the data back. This entire process, since we are downloading one minute data for the last 10 years, which is approximately 9.2 lakh of records, right? So it's 9.2 lakhs of table data. It's going to render that table data in a table format. Uh, typically in a Python pandas data frame format. Uh, pandas started downloading the data. Now you can see that it took like approximately one minute, 9.5 seconds to download the data, right? Which means uh, how many records we are able to download? We are able to download like uh, 92, I mean 9.2 lakh records of data. We are able to download in a matter of like one minute, 9.5 seconds. So like so my recommendation is like, if in case you're gonna use for backtesting purpose, yes, you can download it once in a while, but if you're gonna trade it live, then try to keep it lightweight. 
so anyways we'll uh, in the next session uh, we're going to try to bring more interesting content so stay tuned to more informative sessions thank you